Hello everyone, this is Dr. Beth at HouseFit and welcome to The More You Know. For the month of April, we're gonna be preparing you for the great outdoors. So we're hoping that St. Louis will cooperate and give us some beautiful weather over the month of April so that we can get out and about into the community. Um, so what we're gonna do is give you some tips on how to make that transition to exercising outside. Number one, the first thing you wanna do when you head on out is make sure to wear layers. Um, so it's nice to have something like a vest, something like a hoodie that you could potentially tie around your waist. Uh, when you start to walk, especially depending on the time of year and what the temperature is, you might be a little bit chilly until your body has the chance to warm up and you wanna be able to take off layers as your body starts to heat up. One thing to note, as you age, you have a harder time regulating your body temperature. So you might tend to overheat or after you start to sweat and that sweat starts to cool, you might realize you're a little bit chilled. So it's always lovely when you're outside to have the option to take off a layer and put one back on. The second recommendation we have is to bring water or bring something to drink. Now, typically if you are walking less than an hour, so less than 60 minutes, water should be sufficient. If you're planning to walk longer than 60 minutes or it's a really hot day and you're gonna sweat a little bit more, then you might wanna go ahead and venture into getting some kind of a sports drink, something with electrolytes to kind of replenish what your body is sweating out. One thing that we like to remind people is typically by the time that thirst reflex clicks in and you actually feel thirsty, you're typically already mildly dehydrated. So please don't wait until you're thirsty to get a drink. Make sure you start with some water before you walk, take it with you and have some sips every 20 to 30 minutes while you're walking. The third recommendation is sunblock. Uh, visors, sunglasses. So we want to protect our body from the sun. I always walk or run with a visor on. That is my preferred method. Um, sunglasses as well and then sunblock up any exposed areas of skin. And the last thing is you'll probably want a fanny pack and or a backpack of some sorts. I always walk with my fanny pack which thankfully is back in style, um, but it's great to have something that I can put my car keys in, my phone, I actually put a couple tissues in case my nose starts to run, um, I can put my money or wallet in there, and so I have everything that I need with me. Um, so whether you carry a small backpack or something that you can wear around your waist, it's lovely to be able to have everything that you need with you so you can take it with you on the go. All right, so those are your tips for how to prepare for walking outside.